Good evening, y'all, and welcome to another video of mine. Today, I'm going to actually be doing an experiment on this. This actually isn't the oldest laptop, but that would actually be this one up here, which is from 1998. But this one here is pretty old. It's a Dell Inspiron 6000 from Dell. And according to the article that I found up here, apparently this seems to be from February 20th, February 17th, 2005. So now at this point it's about, it's about 14 and a half years old, almost 15 years old. That's what it's... Shows the date there. I'm thinking that's about when it was new there. Anyway, what I'm gonna do. This was actually the original hard drive that I pulled out of it. This is a 40 gig one. What I'm gonna do. An experiment that I'm gonna do on this laptop here. So I'm gonna put it in this hard drive. And, call me crazy on this, I'm going to see how well it can handle Windows 10. <clears throat> now, now according to here, it has a Intel PMM processor. And of course, it, of course it has like a gig and a half of RAM, one and a half gigabytes of RAM, so... I'm thinking that this should at least be able to handle the 32 bit version just fine. So, I will come back when this is done finishing. And I boot it up to install on here. Okay, continuing on. So, of course, I do got my PC over here, my netbook. This only has 2 gigabytes of RAM, which it runs. It also runs 32 bits, so shows that my flash drive is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I guess eject. And now stick it in this thing. I think it's a USB port there. It looks like from the BIOS I should be able to boot from it, so. Get into the BIOS. So this is going to be the ultimate test here. Okay. Boot sequence. USB storage device. Yeah, it seems to be first on the list, so I'm going to exit out of that. Oh, looks like it already shows up. So that's good. Looks like it's booting from that. And by the way, this is Windows 10 version 1903. Uh-uh. Wow, this isn't going to work, I, I guess it ain't going to work, I just keep getting that darn blue screen. <laughs> so what's, what's going on here? Hmm, 
That's weird, I've never seen that. Yep, for some reason. I just keep getting this blue screen, so. I don't know what the deal is here. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, I just never seen it do that. Yep. Yep, I just keep getting that, so. Truth of the matter is, I think this is too old to run Windows 10. Apparently on here you can manually choose your USB storage device. Apparently it does detect the flash drive just fine. Nope, it's not going to work. Whatever this means. Stop code. Not less or equal to. Whatever that means. I'm not sure what that means. Now I know, I know I did put Windows 10 on this 2007 Dell Precision laptop and it works just fine on it. Okay, stop code. Not less or equal. IRQL. So I'm just going to turn this off. Apparently, guys, this is not going to work. Not less or equal to. Let's see what that means. I R Q L. Hmm. I R Q L. Not less or equal. Let's see what that is. Say. Or whatever that means. Huh. Man. I guess I still got something downloaded there. It's take a while here. Hmm. Must be having a problem with the Reddit servers. Here's one. An old Dell laptop. Look for blown out caps or something. Hmm. 
Apparently it seems to be an incompatibility feature with the seems to be something with the memory or or the motherboard that's not compatible. That's what I think. Let's see what this other thing says. find out exactly what it means. Usually a driver or physical hardware problem. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking what it's gotta be is it's gotta be a be a compatibility issue with the the memory or the or the motherboard or the CPU itself, so you know, the CPU being a single core PMM, I, I definitely won't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised that it can't handle Windows 10, so. Okay, so I'm back and I switch, switch back into the original hard drive that was in it, so. I'm just going to say that I'm just going to stick with good old Windows XP on this. Unless y'all might know of a, a good lightweight Linux to put on it. And of course just to roll out the, the USB drive I did. I did scan it on there and it said that no errors were found, so. See, I'm just going to keep this on Windows XP, apparently. And of course it says Windows XP and its support is April 8, 2014. Yeah, we're long past that. So yeah, just going to keep this as a good old Windows XP machine. So yeah, it's got a ping in then 1.5 gigahertz, 1.49 gigabytes around, about one and a half gigabytes. 
So your conclusion is that uh, I can't recommend trying to put Windows 10 on on a 2005 laptop. You know, I'd probably I'd probably say that the oldest say you'd want to go. If you do decide to put Windows 10 on an old computer, probably the probably the absolute oldest say you'd want to go is probably is probably a computer from 2007. You know, that's say at least a that's say at least a Core 2 Duo or or a Pentium Dual Core better. As far as I know, any kind, any kind of core to do, and of course, uh, any kind of AMD Athlon 64 dual core CPUs uh, and motherboards, uh, they all run Windows 10 just fine, but nope. This, this old guy's just going to stay on Windows XP. So. This was my experiment, and, and too too bad that it failed on me. So, so I'm just going to, have to say this thing can't handle Windows 10. You know, even the 32-bit. You know, I tried to tried to boot it up, and it just keep kept on crashing with that blue screen. So. Good night, y'all, and have a good night.